bring in Schultze Asset Management CEO George Schultze. It's good to see you. Welcome to Overtime. We have a few picks to get through here, and they're all related to energy. Uh, why are you so bullish on the space, beginning with Chesapeake? Right. Well, we're seeing inflation now multi-decades high or decade highs. And, and, and really, the Fed has a tough task of raising rates enough to, to combat this. So we're going to see higher oil prices. We're going to see higher commodity prices. We like Chesapeake. It's a ticker to CHK here at Schultz Asset Management. It's a natural gas producer, trades at about $92 a share. We think it's worth about 125 or maybe higher. This company was reorganized in 2021, eliminated $8 billion in debt. Now it has significant free cash flow, which keeps the balance sheet clean, and it allows it to make acquisitions as well as some dividends and buybacks. You know, I noticed the stock hits an all-time high this week, uh, as did uh, another one of your choices, uh, Alpha Metallurgical. Uh, AMR is the, the ticker there, $3 billion market cap, so a little bit smaller uh, than perhaps what we normally talk about, but nonetheless, a stock that's done quite well. Yeah, that's the largest and most diverse met coal producer in the United States, um, trading at about 157 a share. We think that one's worth about 220. Uh, this company eliminated almost five billion dollars in debt through their prior restructuring, and met coal, of course, is used to make steel. It's not burned to make electricity. So this is an important commodity that's needed in this economy in the United States. It will benefit from the big infrastructure spend that we will have here in the United States going forward. So we're excited about Alpha Met, Chesapeake Energy, and another one, Whiting Petroleum, looks very interesting to us as well. Tell me about that. I've got less than 30 seconds. Yeah, so Whiting, it's an independent oil and gas company, ticker WLL, trades at about $83 a share. We think that one's worth about $130. Like the other two, it was reorganized a couple of years ago. This one eliminated about $3 billion in debt, so it has a clean balance sheet, too. Uh, initially traded down the mid-teens, and now it's above 80. It's merging now with Oasis, and the combined uh, company is going to return about 60% of its free cash flow to shareholders. Got it. It's good to talk to you today. George Schulte, I appreciate you. you being on with me.